today's video is gonna be very random because I didn't write a script, I didn't have an idea. I just have a new microphone and wanted to play with it. I also am not sure what to talk about. I could talk about books, I could talk about school, I could talk about distance learning. There is so much I could talk about and I don't know what to choose. I don't know what's interesting. You no, know, I don't just want to make a video explaining all the time. Explaining, yeah. Not explaining. Complaining. I can't even talk. I can't talk English. That's the whole point of my of my journal, of my channel. See? That makes my point even clearer. I can't fucking talk. Yeah, but as I was saying, that is the point of my of my journal, channel, channel. Point of my channel. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I can't fucking talk. The whole point of my channel is to learn speaking English because when I write I can I'm able to speak English very well like not speak but I can write very well and if I listen to podcasts or if I watch series or watch movies I understand pretty much everything but then if I'm trying to talk I just talk a lot of bullshit. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I forgot all the words that there are. I forget all the time, all the correct grammar and time frames and time phrases and I just forget everything. My brain goes blank if I try to speak English. Not even if I try to talk good English, just when I talk English in general. And it really, really annoys me. Because I know, I know I could do better, but I never do. Because it's so uncommon for me to speak English. I have no reason to. I don't have a friend who speaks English. I don't have family that speaks English. I don't live in a country where you have to speak English. I just have to speak English in school. And that's also very rare. Because most of the time you have listenings and writings and that kind of stuff. But you never have speakings, if you want to call it that. You just have to speak sometimes if you raise your hand. And you want to answer something. But then you also don't have so much time to speak. And you just speak very short. Or just say yes or no. Or what you were thinking. But then the teacher interrupts you. Because you don't have so much time to go in depth. So that's just something that really annoys me. Because I would like to speak English better. Because... As we all know, English is the world language and, you know, it wouldn't be bad if I'm able to speak that. I mean, I am able, but I would like to speak it very well. Because I feel like my writing skills and my speaking skills are completely dismatched. They don't fit together at all. Although in my writing there are five words like sometimes, although, and yet that I always use in like every poem I write and I don't know what's the matter with that. But that's a problem for another time. So what else is there to speak about? What about speaking about distance learning? That really, really annoys me. It annoys me so much, but it also annoys me to go to school. Because on Wednesdays and Fridays, 
I always have to go to school. I always had to in my school because they're a little crazy as it seems. They don't care about corona as it seems because we always had to go. In the beginning there wasn't even a rule that we have to wear masks. It was just like yeah like um wash your hands and open the windows and stuff and uh, all will go be okay but as we see now nothing is okay the world is burning but yeah okay if my school thinks they don't care and we have to go to school anyways well then guess what we have to go to school anyways I mean, at least now we have the rule to wear masks, but that also doesn't make much sense because most teachers always pull the mask away to talk and tell us we can move it under our nose if we can't breathe right. And that doesn't make sense. Then we could also wear no masks at all and it would be the same outcome. I'm not trying to be mean but it surprises me that no one of us is ill so, so far. I mean I don't want anyone of us to be ill. I don't want... I wouldn't wish it to anyone but it wouldn't surprise me. Because that's not the best way to deal with it. Yet I would say it actually is one of the worst ways to deal with it. But you know, the subjects we have, I think they would really suck if we had to do them at home. One subject is... I don't know what it's called in English, but it's just we are on our computers and making patterns for sewing and none of us have this program at home, so it could be a little hard to teach it online if no one has the program they would need to teach, so it makes sense that we have to go to school for that. And another program, um, Adobe Illustrator, you might know it, we also have that in school. And it also makes sense because not everyone has Adobe programs at home, because they are fucking expensive and we are students. So that makes also sense. These are the subjects I have on Wednesday. And then on Friday I have practice subjects if you can call it that it's just where we sew where we are sewing where we are making dresses pillows skirts whatever at the time we are making pillows but i'm very very far behind i am very slow as it seems and it's always the whole friday long it's from 8 a.m. to um, like 4 p.m. So basically the whole day. And I hate it. Because I am so slow and I... I just can never reach the others. Like I... I don't know the word, I forgot it. <laughs> Or maybe I don't even know it, who knows? We will never know. It's just I'm so slow. And every time the others are finished with something, they are finished with the next and I'm not even finished with the first thing we did. So now I have to do everything at home. And that's why I think, why can't we just be at home anyways? Why can't we just have distance learning in this subject? Because on one hand, 
It would be so much better. I could have my own sewing machine. I could use that. I could always ask questions. I could work on it if I have the description and explanation how to do it. But on the other side, it's cool to have it at school because they have other sewing machines that are good, at least if they work and they mostly don't work and I have to change sewing machines. But like we have all the fabrics in school and buttons and everything else, so I understand why we have it in school. But still, it annoys me sometimes. Is there anything else I could talk about? I don't really know what. I also don't know what this video even is, so... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I even know it less because I just have like 5 subs subscribers. I don't even know if they watch my videos. If you are one of my sub subscribers watching, thank you. And thank you for, sub for subscribing as well. I can't even say that. I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing. Subscribers. So yeah, thank you to all of my subscribers. And I think that's it for this video. Because it's a whole mess and I think it's enough chaos. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next.